Good day everyone, welcome to Whimsycraft Season 1. I'm absolutely stoked to be a part of this amazing group. Whimsycraft is a small group of YouTube content creators and our main goal is to have the most fun time together and bring you guys along with us. We all feel as if Minecraft YouTube has become a wasteland of unauthentic slop and it's our goal to bring you authentic not slop. So as you can see here I've already made a fair bit of progress so let me catch you up. Hello everybody. Thank you all for being here for the launch of the very first season of Whimsicraft. Yeah. Woo! Woo yeah. 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 All right, to start off, I feel like I should introduce Musha and Crumbled as we have formed a group called The Underdogs. We'll be helping each other out and also trolling the server. <laughs> so keep an eye out for us. All right. This is a very good hole. Thanks. We have um, a digging hole. Stay out of our hole. <laughs> and then watch this. The first torches of the server. <gasps> no way. We're winning. Whoa. We won already. So the underdogs went caving together and it didn't quite go as planned. Do we have no food. Ah! Yeah, this, this is not. It. Yeah, there's no. no <laughs> come more. in quick, come in quick. There's so much stuff in here. What? Oh, oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Please, I don't want to lose other friends. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm good. I run off. Oh, oh, behind you, Misha, look. Oh, 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 oh. Someone had to place that in creative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch out, Creeper, Creeper. Oh, <laughs> no. no. It's up here. Oh! Be careful, be careful, careful. <laughs> but somehow we made it out with our items mostly intact, which is good. Then we came up to the surface to get armor, regroup, and then we we're gonna take on the cave again. Dog. <laughs> Diamonds. Hey. Yeah. Hey, we get yeah. like one each. Okay, everyone choose your diamond. I okay. see name tags in deep sleep. Hey. Aha. Aha. <laughs> I love how it appears. Oh no, Fusha! Oh no, 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 no. Oh, heart by heart. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> so we ended up caving for about 30 minutes, and after that, we came up to the surface and we all tamed some underdog dogs. Um, okay, come back here. Hey. Second bone. Okay, you can get yourself hopefully a dog with two bones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tamed it with one. <laughs> Nice. Okay, now you can get a second dog with another <laughs> one. No, I'll, I'll try to give it to uh, Crumb. Oh, there's a raid over here. Let's get them. We can get the ominous bottle. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sure. Hey, I got it. Get them die. all. Yeah. Now that we have dogs, in 1.20, you can actually put armor on the dogs. So we head off to the savannah to see if we can find some armadillos. I found the armadillos. Yeah. I'm gonna go first then. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh. I landed on top of yours. <laughs> oh, I'm getting dogs out of the boats. Oh! I thought I thought that was the end. Finally, we arrived back at camp and we did some sick tricks and also split the diamonds between us. Then we started looking for our permanent base locations. And that's how I ended up in this location. I'm a really big fan of this spot. Um, it expands quite a bit. I've also got this area over here of which I've planted some trees. As you can see, there's some over there. I've also got an animal pen. I need acacia and spruce logs for a build I want to do for my starter base, which we'll see in this video. Um, but yeah, here's my animals. Why isn't this tree grown? <laughs> um, anyway, here's my animals. Um, I would say about half of them like naturally spawned in this area and the other half I bred. So yeah, there was actually a lot here when I came to this land, which is really nice. I'll show you a bit of my base. So I've got some bamboo placed around. Um, my chests are a bit unorganized, as you can see. Not very good. But I'll make sure that this is sorted by the end of the episode if I don't, uh, 
please don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, I've got a pretty ethical cow farm right here. I think they're all pretty happy. And I've got a pretty big wheat farm down here. And I'll talk about those a bit later. I've also got some carrots and a single melon growing here, but I don't eat those too much. I mostly use the wheat here to feed all the cows and also my animals in the big pen over there. So yeah, this wheat farm has been pretty good. The next clip I'm going to show you is from when me and Very Unwill went mining and we found something very cool. There are a few other people in the voice chat, um, so yeah, that's why there's an extra few voices. Stuff has been regained. Oh, whoa, I found the, the trial chambers are here. <gasps> Wait, what? What? The, there's what? tough bricks right here. <gasps> Wait. No I really way. I want to see it. Can we take a peek? Uh, Just a little one. Yeah, let's have a peek. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> We're just mining. <laughs> oh, this is... Okay, I think um... it's down. Oh, that's cool. That is very cool. Okay, we're gonna have to... I, I might just dig Remember. up from here, just so we can come yeah. back down. And after that, me and Will went to a different cave, and he just had insane luck. Um, I, I've i just been looking at the footage, and I realized I only recorded about 20% of it. So he found, like, most of the diamonds while I wasn't recording, so I don't really have much to show other than the the six diamond blocks that are there. And now you're pretty well caught up. In about 40 minutes uh, at the time of recording, we're going to be taking on the trial chamber, which is just over there. I don't actually know who's coming to do it with us. I know Will's going to be there, but that's all I know. I invited everyone on the server. I'm going to cut to the trial chambers now, but between then, I'm actually just going to try and get a little bit better gear. Is this pig doing the vault with us? Yeah. Wow. This Good is, uh, Larry. Good old Larry. <laughs> oh, what's oh. his name? Uh, um, quick, someone name him. <laughs> um, Timbuktu. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There's already a Wait, I need to drink the ominous thing. Potatoes. Oh, there's beds here. Look, there's a thing right Look there. That. Oh, this is so convenient. Chest. I think no. this is the first room. I don't think there's anything in any chest, by the way. Okay, yeah, really? Yeah, they're kind of pointless. Oh gosh, I fell. Oh, oh there's dear. a breeze. Oh, stop piercing. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> hey, I killed a breeze. Huh. I've got oozing um, as well. <laughs> I got four ominous keys. Oh really? That that's so good. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh. You, they're actually. It's like one each. It knows that there's four players fighting the vault right now. Oh, that's that's cool. Oh. Yeah. So, meant to split them you... between all four of us. I got okay, some of these. Go. Yeah. I got a book. Um. I didn't. Didn't really get anything good. I got a density <laughs> uh four book. Make nice. Five. If only you had the mace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh hey! Oh. No way! Wait, can I? All right. Okay. Another spawner here. That's good. I think. What are the oh, boards? I. There's some ominous trial keys here. I don't know. Either. It's up. It's up Please. over here. I'll take the trial key. <laughs> okay, I'm opening this one. Oh, I got a heavy core! Nice. <laughs> Yo. Good job. Yay! After I got the heavy core, which is what is used to craft the mace, Crumble joined us in the vault, and uh, we went on like this in pretty much every room, and uh, I'm going to skip past it since I don't want this video to be an hour long. But I will say, this is an amazing update. I love the trial chambers so much. 
It's been like, it's been years since I've been challenged by a vanilla Minecraft mechanic and this was so refreshing. So it was really nice to play this. Anyway, after that fun, a bit later, a couple more Whimsycraft members joined the server and Crumbled had actually found his own vault. So myself and seven other people took on the next trial chamber and it was crazy. Oh. These guys are so interesting. Oh, I hit you, Misha. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh yeah, the vaults must be harder idea. the more people there are. Yeah. Oh no, why am I in a web? Why am I in a web? No, this Get is a web guys. of lies. Get me out of here. So. Misha, crouch, no, look I, down, I and then jump. Hit you. Uh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Master of wind himself has taught me well. Here we go. Sorry. No. No, wait, 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 oh, oh. <laughs> no. Someone... The only it's thing so I really cute. care about is my pick. Run! Yeah, I have that. Run, 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 run. Oh, oh no! This has been really chaotic. Just, like, everyone's yelling uh, all at once. <laughs> thanks, Grim. Uh, Watch again, another heavy with the mouths. I just did. <laughs> uh, it'll probably never happen. Um, guys, you're gonna be upset with me. Unless you did not just get no another way. core. way you got another core. <laughs> I'm so upset. You have to share with the underdogs. Come on. Yeah, yeah. The underdogs. Come here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Run another okay. Okay. Oh. Where are you? I think it's crazy that eight people went into the trial chambers and we only found three heavy cores and I found two of them. That must be a pretty low chance of fighting a heavy core and I must just have really insane luck. I think it's time that I finally announce something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I'm gonna start streaming. You can catch me live with the name Lorikey on Twitch, but it's got three O's and three E's. And yeah, it'll be my first stream and it's gonna be with the Team Underdogs. We're gonna be taking on a trial chamber, just us three. And we'll probably be doing other things in the stream, but it'll be a good chance for me to interact with the community. So the time I'll be doing the stream will be on screen right now. And I'll also remind you at the end of the video. But yeah, I'd love to see everyone who watched this video turn up in my stream. That would make my day. And maybe I'll have some kind of challenge where every 10 followers I kill myself in game. That could be really bad, but I'll probably commit to something like that. Alright, I'm now over at Crumbled's base, my fellow underdog. And he's got a enchanting setup already here. And um, all my gear is still level 1 enchants and it's, it's not very good. I've put mending on most things just so I don't have to craft it again. Tremonic has already got a mending shop, so that's how I got the mending. I had to spend a few of my domes to get those mending books though, which sucks. So I'm gonna go into the nether for a little bit, and when I come back, I'm gonna enchant all my gear with the best enchants I can. All right, I made it out of the nether. I was actually lost there for like half an hour and I was getting quite worried that I wouldn't be able to get out, but I found a portal, which is proportions based, and it seems like he's gonna make a witch farm, which is cool. And I'm actually the person who lives the closest to proportions, so I'm just gonna walk back in the overworld. All right, I'm back at Crumbled's base, and now I wanna see if I can actually enchant the mace. I can, it's got breach density. Right, okay. I don't actually know what Breach does, so I'm going to search it up real quick. Okay, so it seems you can't have Density mixed with Breach, um, so I think I'm going to re-roll the enchantment and try and get something else. Fortune 3! Oh, that's so good. It's got... Oh, damn it, it doesn't have Unbreaking or Efficiency, but that's good. It's got Fortune. Okay, let's see. Unbreaking, do I want to risk that? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to make another pickaxe and then try and get efficiency. There we go. Efficiency and I'm breaking, please. No. <laughs> Damn it. Now I need maybe another one, but okay. Let's try the mace again. Density four. Here we go. And I'm breaking. That's so good because I have two Wimburst books and I can make this a density five as well. So I ran out of XP pretty quickly, so instead of going and farming more XP, I went over to Finn and I showed him my mace. Oh damn, what's this? 
Hello. How's it going? Welcome to the slime farm. So, you were wanting to come over, huh? Yeah, I just want to say hi, to be honest. Oh, wait, I wanted to show you this. Oh. You know it must be done now. I got a, I got a big, a big long, uh, you know, piece of scaffolding up here. Yeah. So if you wanted to, oh. uh, to come crush, to come crush me. I have my spawn point right here too. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. This is kind of terrifying. I feel like I'm going to miss. Actually, you know what? I did a dropper video using the mace where I made a dropper map and, um, mm -hmm. I had to, to, to survive. You had to hit like a sheep with, with the mace. Cause you know how it negates full damage. Um, I did that and I failed many times, so yeah, here's the first time I'm gonna fail. Let's do this. <laughs> uh oh. Oh! Oh! I survived! I went flying. That was amazing. Whoa! That was crazy. That just, all my health just evaporated, reduced <laughs> to atoms. So me and Finn messed around with the mace a little bit more and tried to get the hang of it. And uh, even with the Wimburst 2 enchantment, you still go really high. So I don't think I'll get Wimburst 3 because I don't want to go really high up and just die of full damage. Um, so yeah, Wimburst 2 is really good. And now I'm at this mob farm. And this is actually Toby's mob farm. So I'll show you how I got here. Hello. Hey, <laughs> beautiful singing. <laughs> Thank you. I hear you're in need of some XP. I will show you the farm that I have created. Oh, yes. I am in need of XP. Yeah, down here. It's just normal, nice. normal thing. Okay, cool. Um, infinite food here as well. That's, that's so yeah. good. <laughs> Probably not yeah, the best thing yeah. to eat, but you know. <laughs> I mean, I've food got like food, infinite right? mutton because I've got sheep and stuff, but yeah. Um, yeah. Enjoy the farm. I will, uh, I guess Thank I'll see you, you later. Thank you so much. All right, I've enchanted up my gear a fair bit. There's no mending in stock, so I haven't been able to put mending on anything. But I combined the fortune and efficiency here. I also got another pickaxe I managed to get efficiency for. I'm breaking silk touch, so I'll probably be using this pickaxe a lot. But as the day goes on and I look at my chess, um, yeah, I need to fix this. <laughs> so I'm going to start work on my base. I think I'm going to put it... I'm gonna make sort of like a hill here. And I'm gonna put it around here. But first, I need dirt. All right, now I've got a bunch of dirt, so I'm gonna do a little wireframe of how I want this like sort of cliff hill to be. I want my land to extend out pretty fast, so it's a pretty big build for episode one. But while I was placing the dirt, I had a stalker. <laughs> yeah, so it seems Will might have been procrastinating, or he just liked stalking handsome men from the bushes. Either way, I was able to recruit him to help fill in the dirt wireframe. And um, the reason it sort of cuts off here is because I'm going to have a, like a river going downstream. Oh, this is where the river's going to be? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I'll do the river just mm. now though. So the river over there, I briefly mentioned, I, I was gonna fully like terraform the whole thing and make it look a bunch better. So yeah. there's probably a connection that needs to happen. Yeah. Um, which I don't I know. I could probably how... uh, make my make this river go all the way to that river first and then you can terraform it the way you want. I'll just leave it like bland over there so you can change okay. it. Yeah, so Will came over and helped fill in the wireframe that I made, which is so good. I'm going to need to get him something to repay him. But yeah, one of the reasons I made it floating is because I want to have a basement and it's just easier uh, to make it float so I don't have to mine out the whole thing. I think I've got most of the resources I need for my house, but there's one thing I am missing and that's copper. So I'm thinking I'll actually just go into the... What is that? That's the slime farm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go down to the trial chambers real quick and mine a bunch of the copper. Alright, down the trial chambers and I'm just gonna mine out this bit of copper here. 
All right, while I was editing, all the grass grew. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'm mostly ready to start building the house. So the basement is going to go here, and that's where my storage room and stuff is going to be. But my sort of living area is going to be in the house, which is going to go here. I'm excited to show you. So let's start. All right, the first part of the house is done. Um, it's still pretty far from finish. I still need to do interior, the basement, and also the outside. But yeah, it's looking pretty nice. I gave it a little chimney. Um, it's got a little mix of acacia and spruce and a few spruce planks in there as well. Oh no, <laughs> I tried to show snippets of me building it as well, but Crumb and Will were here and they were being very chaotic. Sorry, say your line. <laughs> no, shut <sure. laughs> <laughs> I'm a stranger. You think you know him, and then wham. <laughs> Anyway, I've got the floor in, so now I'm going to do an actual interior. Alright, the rooms to the house are now in. This is sort of the entrance room. This will be like the main living space, and this is going to be the bedroom. I'm going to decorate them now. Alright, I've finished the interior. Let me give you a little tour. So, this is actually meant to be like an abandoned hunting shack. So there's plenty of like animal hides and skins around, and like there's a crossbow there, because he's probably gone hunting with a crossbow and yeah um we've got a little fireplace here to keep the house warm and there's some logs to put into the fireplace i thought that was nice um yeah some more skins there's a bit of paintings around this is where he keeps his food probably like in tin cans and drawers um and then this is the bedroom i like this maybe we'll get a different color wood but um it sort of reminds me of like blinds or curtains or something so i think that's cool uh, and yeah, there's like a exotic bird trophy or something totally not a chicken and Yeah, this is gonna be the key to the basement. But yeah, this is the house It's not a whole lot to show. It's just a lot of detail in like every single spot now I'm gonna work in the basement. All right. The basement is sort of done um, The layout is done, but I haven't detailed the walls or anything yet just because I need that extra spark to know what I'm doing because I don't want to do something that I'm not happy with but yeah it's actually less of a basement and more of a dungeon I'm sort of inspired by the child chambers but yeah if I go this way it leads to my mine where I go strip mining and then down here this is where my storage is so I've already moved all my items down to the storage I don't have enough wood so I wasn't able to do all the chests I just tried to sort out everything so like all my valuables are in this one. Um, if I want like sugar cane, I go to this one. If I want candles, it's in this one. Uh, I know where pretty much everything is and all this stuff is pretty much bulk storage. So we've got tough, andesite, granite. Uh, oh no, that's andesite. Wait, no, this one's diorite. <laughs> um, yeah, granite, andesite. I don't have any diorite, so that's why there's no diorite in there. Um, and then over here we've got like deep slate bulk storage and stone bulk storage so it's also got the cobbled variants as well um, and over here we've got dirt bulk storage for these two and then this one will be gravel bulk storage and it'll go along here and also sand bulk storage it definitely feels good to have some level of management over my items I'm gonna have to move the river about five blocks in this direction because of my storage area. <laughs> it's now in the way of where I wanted the river to go. I'm gonna add some details outside here to make it feel more like an abandoned hunting shack. So yeah, I'll see you in a second. Okay. <laughs> no way! Oh, that was so one. cool! Okay, everyone. I finished the outside now. Um, it definitely feels a lot more overgrown and I'm really happy with it. I tried to use a lot of dirt and uh, ferns and tall grass and stuff and like these big bushes with vines uh, definitely help. Um, and yeah, over at the back here, we've also got a little workshop area. I like using the crafting table and the smithing table because they've got little tools on the texture. I've deliberately left this tree and bamboo here just because when I'm out like exploring and I want to come home, the only way I know where I live is I look out for the big bamboo and tree, but I want to make something big to replace it. But yeah, I think this is a really beautiful place. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. 
But I think I'm going to end the episode there. It's my current dream to get out of actual work so I could do YouTube full time. So if you could subscribe, that would help a lot. But if you don't feel like subscribing, liking and commenting also helps. But yeah, I'll appreciate anything. Also, stream times on screen right now. But yeah, I've done enough yapping. I'm going to leave you be. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.